Welcome to the Laboratory Configuration Training Module. In this video, you will learn how to configure a new laboratory in HUNET, defining your laboratory characteristic, your list of antimicrobial susceptibility tests and test panels, and your human, animal, food, or environmental sampling location. You will also learn how to optimize your list of data fields and isolate alerts. You'll receive hands-on experience with the Laboratory Configuration Module, and an introduction to the HUNET user community, including the HUNET Discussion Forum and HUNET Training Center. HUNET has modules for laboratory configuration, data entry, data analysis, public health reporting, and data encryption, among others. HUNET also includes a data import software called Backlink for the capture and standardization of data from existing desktop applications, laboratory instruments, and laboratory information systems to avoid the need for double entry of data. Watch the Backlink tutorial if you have or will have a standard data file or Excel file with your laboratory data available. Once you have defined your file to backlink, after you convert data into HUNET and map your antibiotics, locations, organisms, and specimen dictionaries, HUNET offers the user the ability to create or update your lab configuration from the data file or, or multiple files, most of the time avoiding the need for any manual changes to the laboratory configurations. To manually set up your laboratory configuration, double-click on the HUNET icon from your desktop to open the HUNET software. Alternatively, you can select the Windows icon and start typing HUNET until you see the HUNET icon, or you can always open a File Explorer window and navigate to the C HUNET folder directly to click on the HUNET or backlink executable file. Once you've opened the HUNET software, you can click on the New Laboratory button to introduce your laboratory details to the HUNET software. Once you've clicked on the New Laboratory button, a new window will appear with the options for Country, Laboratory Name, Laboratory Code, Antibiotics, Locations, Data Fields, and Alerts. For field number one, Country, please select your country from the drop-down menu list. For field two, Laboratory name, please enter your laboratory name. For field three, laboratory code, please select your four digit to 10 digit code that will represent your facility. Next, this can always be changed. Select human or all sample types. This tells HUNET which data entry form to present to you each time you go to enter and isolate. For field four, antibiotics, Please enter each antibiotic that is tested in your laboratory and tell HUNET which breakpoints to use, CLSI or UCAST. For field five locations, please enter your location codes and define the locations that your samples will represent. For field six, data fields, please enter the data fields that will be completed with each sample result. For field number seven, alerts, HUNET comes with 190 predefined alerts so this isn't required. Please enter any additional alerts that would be beneficial to your laboratory that are not already activated. After you've completed these fields, you can hit the Save button to keep all your settings for the next time you want to use the HUNET software. To open a laboratory, select File and then Open Laboratory. Select your laboratory from the list and then select Open Laboratory. To modify a laboratory, select File, then Modify Laboratory from the menu. There you can modify your country, laboratory name, laboratory code, human or all origins, antibiotics, locations, data fields, and or alerts. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Up next, Module 3, Data Entry.